Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, your go-to destination for all things Apple. Today we're diving into how you can shuffle pictures on your iPhone's lock screen. Let's dive in. With our phones now being our primary cameras, the majority of our photos end up living digitally, rarely making it to print. So why not put those digital memories to good use by showcasing them right on your phones? Let's walk through setting up your lock screen to dynamically display your favorite photos. And just so you know, this feature needs iOS 16 or later. Let's grab our iPhones. Make sure your screen is on and unlocked. If you have Face ID, as soon as your phone reads your face, it will unlock. Now don't swipe up from the bottom, but rather tap and hold on the screen. Now swipe to the left and you'll see this plus icon. Just tap on it. You will get all these different options. The one we're covering today is Photo Shuffle. Just tap on it. Here you will see several different options. The list includes people, pets, nature, and cities. And you can select and deselect these as you please. If you want more control over what pictures shuffle, you can also make a specific album and then choose this option right here. Now only the photos in this album will shuffle. If you want to skip making an album altogether, you can also choose to select photos manually. Just tap right down here. There's one last option on the screen. That's how often you want your photos to change. If you tap on shuffle frequency, you will see the different options. You can have the photo change every time you tap on the screen, every time you lock your phone, on the hour, and daily. I personally like to set the frequency to unlock option. That way, every single time I pick up my phone, there's a different picture. Now that we have that enabled, I'm going to select my options. I'm going to select pets, nature, and cities. Now I can tap on use feature photos, and it takes me to the next step. You can choose from different styles here, things like black and white, dual tone, and color wash. I just prefer the original or natural option. Now I'll just tap on add. It will take a few seconds for it to save your options, and you're on to the last step of the process. You have two options here, set as wallpaper pair, or you can customize home screen. I'm going to choose customize home screen only because by default, it is set to apply this blur effect that I don't like. I like to be able to see my pictures both on my lock screen and on the home screen. As you can see right down here, the blur option is enabled. If I tap on it, I can then see my pictures clearly on my home screen as well. Now you can tap on done and then tap on the screen one more time and you're done. Now every time I lock my phone, the picture will change. That wraps it up for today's video. For more tips like this and all things Apple, don't forget to subscribe and check out this video right here for even more Apple insights. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.